Apollyon's war had taken us to the edge of extinction. But that raid reminded us of who we are. We began with a fortress on the sea. But they knew we were coming. Weapons! The gates of that fortress had worked for a century. All we had to do was get through them. All right, we're doing a pretty epic mission today. Welcome back, everyone. We are playing as the Raider this time. So we've got our big axe and we're ready to chop some people up. But before we start the chopping, I have to say that today's topic is brought to you by Kelvin Lee. And he requested that we chat about anime and the memes that they create. Uh, I, I've always been a, a fan of anime. I'm, oh, gate is closed. I guess we can't go that way. Uh, I've, I've always been a fan of anime. Uh, not, I'm not uh, a diehard. I, I don't watch some of the more uh, cultish animes like Cowboy Bebop. I've always kind of wanted to, but I just never got around to it. But, but I like it. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a Dragon Ball Z fan. One Punch Man, I think, is great. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Attack on Titan. I think it's kind of weird. And in case you're wondering why I think it's weird, number one, it is a show about giant white people eating people, and that's fucking weird. So, yeah. And number two, it's a show about giant white people going around eating everybody, and that's very weird. So, yeah, I don't like that show very much. Just the visuals are horrifying in Attack on Titan. It, it's, it's disgusting. Anyway, um, I, I like anime a lot, but... I, I, I acknowledge at the same time that as as mainstream and, and accepted that it is nowadays, it's still kind of nerdy when you really think about it. And I think we're going to get a cutscene here. Yes, we are. Roots! Grapples here! Go! Lead the club! Okay, okay, we gotta climb up and we gotta dodge stuff. They throw in boxes at us. I'm too swift for you, the raider. He might be a big guy, but he's very agile at the, at the same time. <laughs> this is fun. Um, but what I mean when I say something is nerdy is that you don't always admit that you like anime. Ooh, that was brutal. One does not simply knock the raider off of a wall that he is trying to climb. And there we go. I just used the meme right there. Um, but uh, not not everyone in every situation is ready to admit that they watch anime. That's not the first thing that comes into their conversation all the time. And and you're probably thinking to yourself, no, I, I watch anime. I'm very proud that I watch anime. And so am I. I don't have any. There's, there's not a problem with it. But if, if I'm on a date, I'm not just going to just. No. No, you. No. We're not doing that. Get your ass in the spikes. Um, <laughs> if, if I'm on a date or if I'm talking to a girl I got a crush on or, or whatever, I'm not going to just instantly... The, the first thing I ask her is, like, so do you watch Dragon Ball Z? That's not, that's not where the conversation goes. Because it's, it's kind of nerdy. Anime is just not something that everybody 
watches and it's not something that everybody thinks is cool and 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 they, because of that it gets classed classified as as nerdy and I, th I think a lot of that stems from the fact that it, it it's seen that way at a younger age oh he's standing right next to some spot i can't i couldn't grab him oh he had the hyper armor that's right but it didn't work a second time <laughs> Um, I, I think a lot of the, the, the way we think about certain things, it, it stems from how we view certain things when we're younger and when, when we're in high school. That's, that's where everything gets formed, right? The, the kids that like sports, they're the cool kids. The, the guys that are on the football team, they're the coolest. They're stuffing everybody else in lockers. Uh, and, then, and then you got the weird stuff like the knitting club. Who's in the knitting club? Throw them in the dumpsters. Uh, but but y you get my point. And before we continue on, we're going, we're going to take a peek at this observable. So we'll be right back. The war machines of the samurai often make ours look like toys. They learned much during their exodus and from many different peoples. If they hadn't, they wouldn't be such a threat. The sea fort of the samurai guarded one of the very few places in the mire where a fleet could safely come to shore. And it was an ancient place. <laughs> All right, I was just looking around for some observables. Um, so yeah, and and uh, say so yeah, there's absolutely nothing wrong though with with wanting to sort of not admit that you watch a, a certain show because you think it's not cool or whatever. Uh, because because that's that, that's just kind of normal to 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 feel like you're not cool be, for for watching something, especially in the presence of. Of of somebody that that uh, that that you think is attractive, and there we go. We are opening the gates, and the Vikings are slithering under. He must be the leader. <laughs> But before we deal with him, we have to deal with this little roach over here. But little does he know that I... It, li, little, little does he know that I have no honor. And I will very quickly <laughs> attempt to throw him into the ledge. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I think it's normal, though, to, to feel a, cer a certain level of, of embarrassment for, for watching anime. Because it... Because for, for what it's worth, it's a cartoon. It Wait, should I be going this way? Shit, that was cool. Because <laughs> it's, it's a cartoon. And, and you're telling people that you watch cartoons when, you, when you're 16, 17. And at that, at, at that age, that's the age where you're trying to say, no, I'm, I'm growing up. I'm watching Grey's Anatomy now. Or, what, or whatever is, is popular nowadays. I don't even think Grey's Anatomy still comes on. If anybody knows if there are still new episodes of Grey's Anatomy, please let me know. Shit! Alright. Enough playing around. Come on, don't attack me while I'm using my boss. Am I gonna... Please, no. So yeah, all in all though, I, I think anime is cool. Uh, but one thing that's always bugged me about it is that because it is geared towards younger audiences, especially the, the shonen stuff that like Naruto and, and, and even Dragon Ball Z to a degree, you, you get very simple characters in a lot of it. So regardless of how, how cool it looks, it, 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 it doesn't, it doesn't speak to me as, as a 24 year old, right? I, I, I don't. I don't watch Dragon Ball Z because I'm learning life lessons and shit. I, I watch it because it's nostalgia and it looks cool, and I can appreciate the animation from time to time. Uh, but, but, but that, that's where it, that's where it loses some of its steam. But then, you got shows like uh, like like Cowboy Bebop and, and Akira that that become these sort of cult successes where you can you can watch them as an adult and and still feel a, a degree of, of 
you, you feel like you're not watching just a, a kid's show in another language. Uh, I am very worried right now that I'm going to die. <laughs> because I'm basically dead. Huh, can I just get a checkpoint so I can heal up a little bit? Thing. Look at this. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. <sighs> Fuck, I got a long way to go. Well, alright, considering we're almost at the end, the last point that I was going to make about, uh, about cartoons and... and cartoons that have more of, of an adult theme. One of my favorite cartoons of all time, and it's one that I can watch as an adult and not feel the cartooniness of it, is Rocco's Modern Life. Because SpongeBob, when you watch SpongeBob, of course you, you can you can pick it apart a little bit and you can see that he's he, he, he's an adult character that's basically trying to have sex with a squirrel um, who who's basically the hot chick of, of his community. So, so you can you can get kind of little bits of laughter out of that, especially in the in the earlier episodes. You, uh, there, there was the, the first ep one of the first episodes of SpongeBob was Sandy moves to town, the squirrel, and she is a land creature. So inside of her house, there's no water. And SpongeBob goes in there and he's like, "Oh, this is fine. I'm chilling. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get. I was gonna say something offensive. <laughs> I'm gonna get that strange, okay? But then he he quickly realizes." That he does, in fact, need water in order to live, so he, he freaks out. And and th th there's a connection to that as an adult, where you think to yourself, if if you're if you go on a date with a girl and 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 she's like, oh my god, I love spicy food, and you say, yeah, I like spicy food too. And say, oh my god, this is great Indian restaurant. This food is the food is so hot. And you get there and you take one bite of that curry and your mouth turns into lava. And then she's like, uh, you know what? I'm going to not drink any water. We should just not drink water till we're done. And then you're thinking to yourself, oh, crap. I got to be a tough guy. So you're, so you're sitting there. Your mouth is on fire. You're farting out lava and stuff. And, and it's all crazy. And then eventually you just have to give in. And you say, girl, I need some water. I don't like spicy food at all. My stomach is already up and twisted up in knots. So there, there's relatability in, in that sense to, to SpongeBob. But uh, I, I feel that relatability even more with Rocco's Modern Life. It will forever be my favorite cartoon. And that's funnier the second time. Uh, we'll just skip this. Uh, so yeah, uh, the moral of the story is that anime is really cool. Some of it is a nostalgia factor that makes it really good. And then other animes uh, like Cowboy Bebop, Akira, they have adult themes, so they're they're a bit more they're a bit more interesting to watch as an adult, and you you can talk about them in conversations where you would just talk about any other thing. But if you're having a conversation about great movies, you don't bring up the the, the Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods, right? That that's that's just not what you do. Holy fuck! <laughs> And if you do bring up a Dragon Ball Z movie in a conversation about great movies throughout that have been made throughout the last 10 years, you just have bad taste. Now let's let's go beat these Kenseis up. Please. Okay.
The fort's commander was Fujikyo, a samurai champion. His name had reached across the sea. Even the Vikings knew of his legend. There, the war-born raider would face him. <sighs> I've got one bar of health. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna fucking die. Oh, sh did it? No. Son of a bitch! You can't, you can't be serious right now. Thing. Dude, he has revenge. Is he gonna? He. No. Uh. Uh. Dude, can I get revenge, please? Can I? Can I have revenge? <laughs> He's just gonna get it. Come on. Get revenge. Fine. No. No. No fucking range on the guard break, man. Fuck. Yo. Oh my god, no! No. No, 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 Let the health come back, let the health come back. Come on, guys, this is the hardest boss fight that, that has ever existed in this game. He's got revenge. He's gonna use it. He's gonna use it when I swing. <laughs> that day reminded our people what Viking fury could do. The Great Raid, they would call it.
and it had begun. Alrighty, that was a lot of fun and very challenging as well. That uh, final boss fight with the Kensei was nothing to laugh about. So we're going to wrap it up here. We got two more missions left in the Vikings campaign, and those do have topic suggestions provided already, and we will get to those soon from Adam and Gradwell. But I'll give you guys a proper shout-out when the time comes. And also, hi, Marshall Yeager. I can't forget about you. Uh, but we do still have the Samurai campaign, so if there are topics that you guys would like me to ramble about, feel free to put them in the comments. And uh, also be sure to check out some of the other content for Final Fantasy. It's a lot of some of it is uh, is fun to watch, even if you don't actually play the game. So that, that could be something nice as well. So with that said, the name of this game, it's For Honor. The name of the channel is iBlueAirJJR Gaming for Comedy. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.